morning guys welcome back to another video so it is currently super early right now it's about 5 a.m uh, i am traveling to new york so you already know i thought i'll pick up the camera and vlog this little trip i'm gonna be there for about five days um it's during fashion week too so there's gonna be a lot to do hopefully uh, i was invited to a couple of shows that I'm not familiar with the brands, but um, I might attend, I might not. I'm still kind of trying to figure it out because I would need a plus one. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna take a quick cold shower so I can wake myself up, finish packing, and then we're gonna head to the airport. Enjoy the vlog. See if we can find a gym in New York. Just finished an unbelievable workout man got in on Friday uh, it's Monday today uh, I kind of wanted a couple things that I wanted to tackle before the show today I have a show at 4 p.m. and I wanted to hit the gym it's a beautiful new piece that I picked up and you know I don't like to say the term this is a grail of mine because I generally love my wardrobe and I think every piece that I've owned up to now I wear it I get use out of it and I've just managed to build obviously like a great wardrobe and I'm so thankful for that but this piece, man, I've been kind of hunting it forever, but it's so, so expensive. And I managed to find it. I'm not even gonna name the brand, um, but yeah, I'll show it to you guys later once I go and pick it up. I should be picking it up today. Hopefully everything goes well and I'm able to pick it up. I already paid for it. So, so yeah, so I'll go there 10 a.m. today. It's currently 8 a.m. And uh, I feel good, man, I feel good, like, you know, a lot of the times, you know, when it comes to YouTube and, and where I want to take it and the things that I want to do, you know, I've always said that this is always going to be focused on men's work, but I've always wanted this to be a lifestyle channel, you know, where everybody can just like, you know, watch this and feel inspired or even just feel motivated to get out there and just do things that they love doing, you know. I've been in my job for five years. I love it, you know, and I'm so grateful sometimes to have found something that, you know, I also, I do in my nine to five, but I also do outside of my uh, my uh, my uh, my nine to five basically you know because the fashion has always kind of been a big part of me and uh, to be able to do that as a full time and get paid for it I'm forever grateful you know? and you know when it comes to content creation when it comes to YouTube Instagram TikTok all that stuff man I just want to encourage you guys to just do it man like whatever you want to do just do it because you know every year when you wait and you keep waiting you know um it's just that time just passes so fast and it passes so fast you know um and just taking that first step is the hardest thing but after that things just evolve and things just you get used to it and like you know carrying a camera around you know consistently taking pictures taking videos people looking at you weird like you just kind of get used to it man and you know um 
every time that I pick up this camera, I, I won't sit here and be like, oh yeah, it's so easy now. Yes, it's natural, but at the same time, you're still kind of like looking left and right, like what are people saying? Why are people staring at me? But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's just what you want to create and what you want to put out there in the world, you know? And everyone has a story. Everyone has a story. Like I never in a million years thought that personally for me, I'll be here like I'm just, you know, I was born in France, you know, I was raised in Burundi, East Africa. Most of you don't even know where that is. And to be sitting here in New York, in Canada, just traveling, doing content and all that stuff, never in a million years would I have thought that some of you would be watching this, you know, or I'll be able to grow a platform on Instagram. Like things like that don't happen for people for like where I'm from, you know, because it's such a small country and it's like, you know, so just for me to have had the opportunity to come here and just really make the most out of it, I'm super thankful, you know. And even now, you guys have noticed I've been traveling a lot because I recently got my Canadian passport, which just allowed me to kind of like travel and do different things, you know. Um, and for all of that, it's just like, you just but you just got to be consistent. And whatever you're doing, you got to be consistent, you got to be disciplined. And it doesn't matter, man. Even if you have two people watching, just keep going, just keep going. I think right now we are in this generation, of course, in this era where, you know, we, still, we see so many people just blowing up and we think that if it's not happening for us, then we failed. But it's like, the reality is, man, just tell your story. Just tell your story, you know, and stay authentic, you know, be yourself and things will work out, man. Things will work out, you know. Um, I personally, for me, I think there is, there is a, a greater feeling when things don't happen so quickly because then it allows you to be disciplined for so long and to have like a structure in your life and to learn so many things like just taking so many losses but still being able to come back and still being able to fight for you know the things that you want to do in life you know because if you can find something that you're passionate about and make money out of it man i think that's just the cherry on top so um i actually tried it on yesterday so i kind of already know what it obviously fits like, but this is my first time unboxing it, so I'm gonna do it with y'all. So let's see. I'm so nervous. I honestly haven't, I don't think I've been this excited about a specific garment in a very long time. This is the Balenciaga Taxi Jacket. Um, you know, you've seen Kanye West has worn it quite a lot um, over the last couple of years. I think I got it in a size IT52. This already fits massive. It fits really big, but I personally love layering my clothes. So as IT50 was just, it was, I mean, it still fit pretty well, but I wanted to go with an IT52 just for the extra room to be able to layer. I'm going to show you guys how it fits right now. This is what it fits like so as you guys can see quite oversized um, but just how I like it I usually prefer my coats or uh, bombers to be this oversized just so I can layer it I have it with uh, the headless t-shirt just very simple look and it's sick because I know this is like a jacket that I'm gonna be wearing for years to come you know just especially because I live in Canada so you know, we're always wearing jackets because it gets so cold early on, like from fall all the way to spring, it's really cold. So um, this is perfect. The good thing too is I can layer it in so many different ways in the sense that, you know, I could literally wear this with just a tank top if it's like a little bit, like not too cold and just a little bit warm, but I still want to wear a jacket. I'll be able to wear this with like a tank top, you know, but it's also warm enough to where I can layer it with like, let's say a thick cotton t-shirt with a hoodie and put this on, it's fully leather. You know, it's padded as well, which is amazing. Basically the exact same one that I wanted that came out a couple years ago. It's from a few seasons ago, I think a couple seasons. It probably came out in 2021, full winter 2021. If I'm mistaken, you guys can correct me in the comments, but yeah, it's just the perfect jacket in my opinion absolutely love this so happy to have it in my wardrobe man so yeah this is what it fits i think i'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna do another video just kind of showing you guys how i would style it you know um but right now i have a pretty simple outfit got these pants up i do pants that i showed earlier with these uh um balenciaga derbies and yeah all right so i'm at ag right now 
found these. What you guys think? Honestly, these look crazy. They have them in black too, so I'm gonna try them in black as well. But very comfortable. It's a woman's pair. It's a size 11. the black all right so i got the black on so this is what the black one looks like i feel like these kind of look like my chelsea boots or something so the brown gives it a nice pop of color and move back yeah so for the black huh yeah i guess the black looks sick. The black looks nice, but damn, I have so much black. Yeah, it's, it's very hard. Yeah, so I was actually talking to my boy about moving here and how I want to go about it, you know, so I was kind of asking him because he currently lives in uh, in Brooklyn, you know, I think he pays about 2.5, 3,000 a month, which is doable. And uh, yeah, I think it's the city which just be good for me in terms of opportunities, in terms of just being in the fashion scene. And we actually do have a team here uh, at Essence. Uh, we have about six, seven stylists. I actually met up with them today. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see whether you text me because you know Montreal is quite limiting, limiting with when it comes to like fashion, you know, and um, just all around opportunities, you know. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. You know, um, I'll keep coming back here. Like it's really, really, really feels like home anytime. Anytime I'm in the city, it's starting to feel like that. You know, um, and I've done so many different areas. You know, like I'm in Williamsburg right now, and I think if I had to move, the probably the place I would want to live would be Brooklyn. That's just like the 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 area, like the atmosphere. Everything is great. So yeah, especially when I stayed in one of my bo uh, at my boy's place, um, his area was perfect because. It wasn't too far from the subway, which is very helpful if you want to commute. And yeah, just going to fashion shows as well just showed me that, you know, the fashion scene like is massive here, you know. So yeah, man, if any of you are looking to move to New York, definitely do it. But do it if you have a plan. I find for me, you know, I've always been about money first before anything. So I wouldn't move here unless, you know, good opportunities presented themselves and you know i'm never gonna move somewhere because just my heart desires it i'm always gonna move somewhere because you know i have a vision you know a long-term vision especially five ten years and i can make enough money to live comfortably you know um and also to save because that's also important for me you know but more specifically before saving i need to be making enough so so yeah so that's something that i definitely see possible now so yeah i'm not in a rush maybe in a year or two but eventually we'll make it happen you know i could even live in like jersey and commute between jersey and new york jersey is a lot cheaper and it's about like a 45 minute you know uh ride so things to take to think about but yeah i don't know if i'm gonna pick up the camera again if i don't i appreciate you guys for watching highly appreciate it uh, i'll check in with you guys when i'm back in montreal hopefully more vlogs um, i know you guys enjoy these sunday vlogs and i've stopped them because i've been focusing so much on different other platforms but uh yeah thank you for watching if you did enjoy the content of course always make sure to subscribe and like the video and i'll check with you guys